Greetings, comrades. My name is Jack Antles. And welcome back to another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. And it, so we haven't really gone much of the game. We haven't really progressed far, except that we've joined the club, and now we and um, I've already got to, uh, I already suspect Monica as being the one that does all the evilness. So there's something about her eyes, as I said last episode. I feel something dark in there. Anyway, we are going to write a poem now. Okay. How does this work? Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Promise. Promise. Comfort. Oh. Oh, I see you. Um. I guess they yeah, each have a different set of like word groups that they each like. Yeah, okay, I see. So I mean I'm gonna try and get all the endings with all of the girls. So it doesn't really matter if what I do here, I just you know, I'll try and go back. So if I mess up in this one, I'll just go back and like stick completely to for example Sayori and Atsuki. And I'll get through it all. Secretive. Lipstick. Oh yeah. Boop. Games. Swimsuit. Pout. Fickle. Warm. Kiss. Oh. oh, that's dark. Precious. Desire. Marriage. Cheer. Breathe. Okay. There, wrote a poem. Hi, Gengigan. Stop with the pose! You look like a snake! Glad to see them run away on us. <laughs> oh, I want to make a Boy Scouts promise. I mean it. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was last to come here, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh, I'd hate that feeling, you know, just you come through the door, then everyone just is just looking at you, and then just looking at you like, because like you, we couldn't stop the club five minutes early. Yeah. Thanks for keeping your promise again. What? Did you really not trust me? I'm offended. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a, commit of a commitment for you. Yeah, it's not. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. It's fine, Yuri. It's fine. Don't worry. Oh, come on. Like it deserves any slack. Zero told me you, you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Do you got a problem with that, Natsuki? Huh? You got a problem? I think she has a problem with me. And last year too. Really? I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Stop, please. She's bugging me. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you sat there a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Rex. Just. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga. Manica. Manga is literature! I don't doubt that. Manga is literature. It's a form of reading. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Again, always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Thanks, Sayori. He helps me, he helps me with busy work without, even, without me even asking. What's busy work? Like cooking, cleaning my room? How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> oh, you can say things that they got pretty heated. Is that so? <laughs> You're never cooking, I'm just saying that now. You two are really good friends, aren't you? So what if we are, eh? What if? So what? I might be a little jealous. Hey, don't worry, we're going to become good friends. Due time. How come? You and Gans can become good friends too. Uh, um. Sayori. Hmm? Oh, shook my headphones off. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, you even bought something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Eh? Me? Huh? 
Oh, she brought you something today, you know. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks. Eh, me? Me? Well, little old me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. Just, what is it? Never mind. Oh, man, she's, like, blushing over a heck over there, the heck over there. You're a serious mate. It sounds like a, sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Guess it means it's up to me to the situation. Eh, don't worry about it. First of all, wasn't expecting anything in the first place. It's only a nice gesture for you to pleasant surprise. You gotta make me happy no matter what. Yeah, is that so? Yeah. I, will, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be, okay? Trust me. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that you thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Okay. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Ah, I see. Yeah, let's, we'll discuss it. This, this is, how's this girl accidentally being so cute? She's so cute! Sorry, I was, I was trying to do that thing. Not, forget that ever happened, sorry. She even picked out a book she would think I like, despite me not reading so much. She's really nice! Hmm. What the ray is she? Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this, man. Fully books now. Man, the puns are rolling out in this one. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Thanks, man. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem... But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. What is he reading? Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay, let's go over to Natsuki. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. Approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Okay, I'm just gonna say now that's a very empty closet. <laughs> Freaking Monica. She ever puts my stuff back in the right spot. What do you mean? Me is away skills. Well, that happened was useful something. What's the point of in keeping a manga? What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? And Suki starts a bunch of stack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you. Uh, manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it unless until you figure out where the other person stands. That's understandable because people just think it's cartoons or comic. And then you can scream your head off at them. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. How bad is your memory, Gigan? You mentioned it yesterday. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> Does it say manga here? I think it might. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the volume on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I blew out the stack. There it is! I took it, snatched it out of my hand. Dude, that burned. And she turns to a box of manga, slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box had one book missing, probably the most annoying, irritating sight in the world. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know that feel. Okay, I'm just predicting things now. <laughs> I get a closer look at the box that she's admiring. Parfait, girls. Parfait, isn't it? Parfait, isn't it like a... Um, I have a... Not sure if it's either the food or the baking, right? You're sitting there, what? People who work in a bakery? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. You haven't heard of a lot of manga series in your life. That probably means it's either way out of my... It's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. Hey there, Judge. You can go do it through the glass on that door. Hey, I'm not judging. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. Parfait girls. Like that? 
But I'll tell you one thing again. Consider this a lesson straight from Literature Club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Dude, I learned that in primary school. In fact, Itsuki picks out the pulls out the first volume of the Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Okay, I'm sorry this is like a minor detail, but it's been really bugging me for the last episode. You can see her tooth sticking out of her mouth. I mean, how does she smile like this? Like, yeah. Ah, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated female feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. I don't know what that means either. Don't just stand there. Whoa! Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Oh, this is going to be a date, huh? Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I'll take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Eh? What is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Oh! You just got on. Don't just say that. You make a few words about it. I took it across his arms and scrooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I could say it's a particularly bad thing. Oh, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. I opened the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I, didn't, I won't notice. Meanwhile, he's like shuffling along. I'm like, oh, don't mind me, Natsuki. I'll be inside the closet. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the other volumes every now and then? Not really. She's nuts. Maybe sometimes after I already finish the series. And, you know, I think it's good just to, you know, you know, go over what you read again, you know, so you understand everything. You know, there's some things you might have missed. Hey, are you paying attention? Oh, yes, yes. I'm paying my utmost attention on you. Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, yeah, so I can talk at the same time. I don't think it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life of her. Up slice of life. I get that. No fun. Food. Never. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plots. I know exactly what you mean. So, what should I expect from this? Is it going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I'll enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginnings is about simple things. There's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with the guy in the, in the, at the ice cream shop. Oh, that's going to make a very interesting chapter. But that just helps you get to know the characters. Okay. And besides, it's still entertaining. As long as it works. Yeah. Later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get all their backstories and some of the room romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. So many touching parts. Ah, is that so? So like you really know what you're talking about. They better underestimate you. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, look at the little smile. He's so cute. Hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Ugh. That's it gives me a little shove. I go flying through the wall. It just meant that I haven't seen you yet at your full power. <laughs> what is this? Is you gonna go Super Saiyan now? Yeah. Hmm, good save. Thanks. I've saved a lot in games, I know what I'm talking about. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but th is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well, Tiki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Hey, hey! No judging, I understand perfectly. Like I would ever get into anything cause, because it's in a manga. And? What's wrong with that? I feel bad for anyone that's... I feel, fa uh, oh, I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains that Suki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies picked up from a manga, there's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, you don't want to end up like picking um, a Yandere hobby and you go doing Yandere stuff. Like in Yandere Simulator. I'll get around to playing that game at some point too. Don't worry. 
Not to mention, she's really good at it. So who am I to judge? Oh, hey! I'm just, just mm -hmm. sorry. Hey, how you doing? We ran off for a few more minutes. I've read a couple of chapters at this point. No, you have to read this narration, don't you? Mm -hmm. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. I mean, you know, it's like a, it's like a let's play on YouTube. Because you're just watching me do something. Well, I, I'm fine with that. Okay. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Huh? Hmm? You don't? Uh, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Did you see a manga to friends? You should know what I mean? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll back off, I'll back off, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Man. Ah, oh, sorry. Hmm. I could ever get my friends to read this. Okay, yeah, fair enough. They just think bangers for kids. How dare they think that manga is just for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Huh? You still haven't outgrown that yet? Mace would have put- Mace would have punched him in the face. I know what you mean. Yeah, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of it to find good friends you don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. Good one way to shoot yourself down here. It's probably hard for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Hmm. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. Why? I don't know what my dad would do if he found this. What? I used to save you in the club room. Okay. So Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? You know. I'm here. I mean, here I am reading it. Well, like, that solves any of my problems. Maybe. Well, at least you enjoy yourself, right? Uh. Okay, comes that little tooth again. Just. Tick. So? Ah, ha, ha. Man, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Hitsuki starts laughing. <laughs> she, her laugh's probably better than mine. I totally forgot that happens. Hitsuki puts a finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. Okay. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But if it gets, it gets, it gets especially bad when. Uh. I shouldn't be talking about the end. Please don't! You're spoiling the manga for me! Let's finish this chapter. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, just finish. Oh, okay. Just... Atsuki's voice sparks with excitement. It's stark contrast to you. Where's my mask on? Oh, there it is. It's a stark contrast to your usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to seeing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express the words in feelings you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to prove that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. <laughs> okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on. Would your time be any worse? Sorry. Stop with the poems. You look like you're about to smack her in the face again. I don't think to make sure I have you enough time. You do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! As you can see, this is how close she's gone to me. Stop. So she's like, got like a head right here. We're reading the manga. She hastily sized herself a good 12 inches away from me. How much is that? Like, that much? Dude. Hmm. Alright. I guess I'll stop here for now. Yeah? I close the book and hand towards the next city. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Don't you? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Eh? Is that really right? I mean, you know, you chill that. I say that because mostly because I didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Shut up and read it! Well, of course. It will take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Yeah, that's probably true. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. I promise. If you guys bent, 
I'll kill you. I will promise to protect it with my life and make sure that the covers do not lose their gloss and no pages get bent or scratched or scuffed, whatever. By tomorrow? When well, you got part way through the volume so far. I might have to fall behind this, I'm sure, if I try to get through this. How thick is that volume? Is it like this thick or something? Yeah, so I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Mutsuki's enthusiastic face. Just to. Oh, why am I more scared? What happens if I don't finish it? Yeah, next is going to come chase me with like a frying pan or something. Finish the manga! Or she would just like throw the box of manga at me. Finish the manga! All right then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. Oh, yay, everyone's giving me books today. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? <laughs> yeah. My organization ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I could have really thought I was just gracious. I've never really done this before. Sorry. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share it to share with? I can't wait! I'd say you're always like Queen of Enthusiasm. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sirius is on record sheets of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Okay, I guess. I guess you can tell a lot about a person. About, like, you know, the piece of paper they wrote something on. Like Sayori. Her, she, her sounds messy. You know, loose. No, Sayori sounds quite messy, you know. Like, she just ripped it out and it's wrinkled. Yeah. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. You see her, now we see Monica as the neat and tidy one. You know, I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Yeah. I mean, it's better than my handwriting. My handwriting's terrible. That's Suki and Yuri would have to need to comply as well, reaching to their bags. I do the same myself. Okay. Got it. I'm gonna save now. Just. Who should I show my poem to first? Hmm. I'm gonna go with Natsuki. Yeah. I told Natsuki I was interested in a poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with hers first. Yeah, look, look, read my, read my poem. It's probably just random rubbish, but you know. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um. What don't you like? Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? What's the point of sharing in the first place? Dude! You meant to share, and you know, we improve. I wrote this one, I could have been doing other things. Uh, in fact, I remember how I said, remember how I said, oh, I want to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said, no. Monica, Monica, Monica. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. Oh, I'm good at literature, eh? Told you. One mark, off, one mark off eight star right here. And she went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. She's smiling at me because I did too good. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Ugh. Natsuki retort, Natsuki's retort gets caught in the throat. Ah, uh, you yeah, so... You just, you... Don't understand anything, do you? I already told you. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Well, you sure you never actually said that. I see that mostly to myself. It's like you must really hate me or something. Could we either win or lose? That lost the slice of her. For those of you that don't know what a Sundere is, a Sundere is basically this like cold, uh, harsh person who like they, they look like really mean, but once you get to know them, they're really just big softies. I can't figure out if someone lost the slice of her. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? No. Hand it over. Grr, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Jesus can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. That's good. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I'm being honest. Stop copying me. Are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, I guess. Even when high school things writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. It doesn't. It can be simple. So people don't, so people don't need to take my, hand, my writing seriously. Look, the most effective words on earth are the ones that make, that say the most with the least amount of space. You know, 
if you have one word that's worth a hundred words, you gotta choose that one. It's worth it. But isn't the point of posting people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like what it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Yeah. Seeing everyone go around you doing great do great things can be really a disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. wordplay. Yeah. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on its own purpose. Yeah, yeah, I... See, this, this is true literature. Okay, you, all of you out there doing like your final, no, not finals, all of you doing like your GCSEs in Britain and whatever the heck the American versions of the GCSEs are on the other side of the Atlantic, you better like all be writing down these notes and stuff because this, this is true. This is, this is true literature. We're in a literature club here. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what, it's, that's what it means to be a pro. Teach me. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, I don't want to take that away from her. Good man. Uh. Yuri. Hmm. Yuri says with a poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading it. What, she's reading it backwards now? Uh. Oh. S sorry. Calm down, calm down. I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> what? Was she like giving me a whole? Was she giving like a, a five-hour-long lecture in that minute? But she wasn't saying anything. Um, it, it's fine. Don't force yourself, man. Just feel. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do Why do you ask? Oh, I'm I'm just making sure. I guess I might be after reading through it. Ah, so is that bad? No, 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 no. Did I just raise my voice? Sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. It might take a while. It might take Yuri a while to get you some new, to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on it. And the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. But she refines the chain of thought, is it, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. The stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's certainly writing skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in the club, everyone else in the club, gives you valuable fee feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased though. Biased? Oh, I just talked with her. Um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Confidence is gone. Her confidence is gone. Now she's just stuttering again. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not sure if you're just saying sorry to yourself. To me, it was Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I don't share my thought process behind it. Very smiles dreamily, as if that's a real opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghost under a light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have w to withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. That was brilliant! Just saying, mate. Just saying. I sorry to such terrible handwriting. My handwriting is terrible! Okay, don't, don't, don't say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My handwriting is atrocious. When I used to do spelling tests in my primary school, there was only one person in the entire class, not even a teacher, but only one of my friends. Only one person in the entire class, no, the entire school that could read my handwriting. That's how bad it was. In fact, I'm still, people are still trying to tell me to get better at my handwriting, but it is atrocious. 
But I still got uh, one mark off an A star, so with my literature, so I don't care. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. It took you a long time to read. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your writing is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Better than mine. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. You usually write longer poems. Not at all. Don't worry. I'm really glad you liked it. I like it. It's fine. I like it. I'll be honest. This is our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little. Sorry. A little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Well, that really filled me up. Are you into ghost theory? That poem wasn't about ghosts. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Gigan. Dude. Really? That wasn't about ghosts. Really? I must have totally missed the point. You did. Well, I suppose you only did you did you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last place of comfort, unable to let go of her past of the past. Of course, ghosts the souls of um of people who's who haven't, who don't feel like they've accomplished certain acts in their life. And so, because the act is uncompleted, they are forced to wander the earth forever until they finish that act. Yeah. And soon to be left with nothing, let's say. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I never thought of that. I did. You see, one of the things you do when you do, like, literature GCSE, is that you have to analyse the heck out of poems. It's like you take apart every letter from a poem and look at how they all fit together. So I understand this. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. You show me that won't be long if we pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Thanks, man. Sorry. I'm going to say right now. This is the good poem, again. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. No, I don't know that. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? No. Eh <laughs> I guess you're right. No, I'd be writing books in my time. But in my spare time. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. Dude, I did the scout's promise and everything. I did the boy scout promise and everything. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just shows how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm staying in front of you. In the, not to mention the fact that I'm staying in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my own promise. See? It's like I said before, Gigan. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know that? Thanks. Trying new things like this for other people? That's something only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure Sayori sees a full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. It's good, to be honest. Knowing how much this means her and all? Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine. I actually can't snap my fingers. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. I'm reading this too fast, I'll try. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Give me breakfast. Take on the eggs. Sayori? This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until to this mor did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Just Well, at least it makes me feel a little better about myself. It's fine, you know. That was a good poem. Well, quite random though. You know, it's good. I don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah uh, yeah. I didn't say me to say it was a bad poem. I liked it. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Wish in our last line. I made eggs and toast. Oh, she's so cute. Even though you were late to school? I had to skip breakfast. and get all cranky. Well, I guess no point in arguing. 
Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's why it's called breakfast. You break the fast of you falling asleep, you waking up. You gotta eat breakfast. It's a fact. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, guess I look forward to it then. Monica. Hi, Gagan. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions about For the Club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I keep that in mind. Of course, be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm all settled in. Hey, Gan, we all know how you feel, okay? Don't worry. So she's a bad dance. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Stop with the snake! Don't worry, again. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. Mm -hmm. It's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past it. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Gigan. Thanks. Really? It's not cuter than I expected. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, man. No, no, no. Kind of makes you think of something that Tuki would write. She's trying to pair us off already. She's a demon. She's trying to pair us off. And then she's going to do something that breaks the relationship. Or someone dies. Then she's going to kill us all. And she's a good writer, too. To take that as a compliment. Stop with the hair whip. What is this? L'Oreal. Huh? Huh? Uh, if you say so. Yep. By the chance, have you read anything by Charles Silverstein? Who? Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Tsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much fill in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get right. So I can see why it'd be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll try a, I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. If they go, I'll probably feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everything else might be a little bit biased towards certain kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the same, to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Thanks, man. <laughs> Stop with the hair thingy! <laughs> anyway, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, not that very good. You sound pretty confident of somebody who claims, to, who claims to be not... Who claims to not be very good. I'm reading this too fast, aren't I? I'll start with it. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? Yeah. I see. Well, let's read it then. It's on. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me to see the direction the spark, the speckle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend, I never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue, but no, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. Already squashed the permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now, now I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. She about a boyfriend or something, because, you know, he on the other side looking in. It feels, it sounds like she's like kept in a prison or something. A whole of infinite choices, I mean. Okay, I'm analyzing this too deeply, but it sounds like she's, um, she's inside a prison of some kind and she's looking out and there's someone looking back at her. Hmm. Anyway. Nice poem. Just, just saying. So. What do you think? Hmm, it's very pretty form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ha ha ha, it's okay. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff's gone pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Okay, so I did it wrong, okay. Sorry. What's the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could see I've been, I had some kind of epiphany recently. What was it? Ah. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. That's yeah, fine. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. 
Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain can get too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper, tie it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a dark, a big puddle of dark ink, a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. Don't try in the room. There's no more shows than that anticipated. Okay, you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stop the episode. I'm just gonna have to stop the episode now because... It's, it's been on too long. It's like 40 minutes. This one's gonna be like 40 minutes or something. So anyway, that that's all I've got time for this super long episode. If you like this video, please do give it a like. Please do share my videos and comment what you think of them. Please do subscribe to my channel to see more awesome content. And please uh, you know, ring the bell so you keep up to date on my Doki Doki Literature Club series. I'll see you in the next video, comrades. Until then.